Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Ria, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from Burlington, Ontario in Canada, Jeff Weinstein, CEO of Mainstream Communications, helping individuals, leaders, organizations simplify communications and boost productivity. Jeff is the author of Buried Alive, Digging Your Way Out to Clear Communication. He's founder of Lean Email, Beating the Inbox. So, Jeff, how important is personal branding in the field of communication? Personal branding is critically important, Tom. Thanks for asking. When you think about communication, you think about all the back and forth, and you think about the words that you want to say, uh, but really, there are a few critical elements there. And I actually go back to Aristotle 2,400 years ago, who told us that influential, persuasive people mm. understood that there were three elements, right? There's the who is doing the influencing. Mm -hmm. There's what they're asking you to do mm -hmm. and why it matters. Right. Now, I've boiled it down very quickly here, but there are three elements. And so we tend to focus as, as experts in our field, we tend to focus on the what. We focus on everything we know. We focus mm -hmm. on all the details. And, and that tends to be the people that I work with is, is very smart, educated, hardworking people. And that's right. their brand, right? Their, right. their brand is the, the knowledge, the expert in the room. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's a, that's a strong, uh, that's, a, that's a big strength for people, right? But there's a bit of a dark side to that as well, because people who are experts are often also criticized mm -hmm. for not always being the best, best communicators in the room. Right. And so they've got a ton of value and they know how to bring that value to the organization, but they struggle to articulate their ideas. And I've seen a lot of really good, smart people with great ideas, but the ideas die on the table because they've focused on the technical aspects of it, the details, and not kind of the human side of it. And that's mm. where the personal brand comes in. And we see that at all levels and in corporations that... Uh, Consumers, they're interested in, you know, the CEO. Generally, what you just mentioned, CEOs sort of have a, a version of talking about themselves. They talk about the company, talk about everything, uh, but they tend to shy away of putting themselves in the spotlight. Uh, but more often than not, we want to know the who, the what we can see, right? Yeah, the exactly. Why is pretty the, much the out there, is... but the who uh, is our personal interest. It, it, it is, and that's really our secret weapon. And this is a this is a key for unlocking personal power for knowledge workers, for all these experts out there. That there are different aspects to your personal brand when you're communicating. Mm -hmm. You have to almost be willing to let go of your expertise mm -hmm. and understand all these other aspects, you know. And so there there are kind of four things that I walk people through when it comes to personal brand and tying it to communication. And the first one is character. Mm. People need to understand that you're, you know, a, a person of integrity, a person that they can trust. Right. And we typically display that through our behavior, right? Uh, we, we interact with people. They can see, do you have an agenda? Are you telling the truth? Are you being open or honest? Right. Uh, do we have the same values? Are you authentic? Those types of things. And, and knowledge workers, experts, mm -hmm. that's not usually a huge issue, right? We, I think we can see that if you're an expert in your field, you care about your area, uh, and then your character is not always an issue. Um, and in some cases it would be, but for the most part, that's not what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. uh, another, another aspect of the, of the personal brand is competence. And this is the aspect we've already been talking about where, you know, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're going to be respected. You're going to be seen as a credible person right. simply because of your knowledge and your experience and your credentials and, mm -hmm. and all of those things. Right. And, and, and so if you're a cybersecurity expert talking to a room full of other cybersecurity experts, you're fine. Mm -hmm. But if you're a cybersecurity expert and you're talking to a mixed audience, you need more than, than a strong character and competence right. to sort of sway that, uh, sway that group. And so the real, uh, the real strength of personal branding comes in with the last two areas. Uh, and the first one is their ability to connect. Mm. It's kind of humanity 101, right? The mm -hmm. uh, forming quick bonds with people right. and understanding how to connect and build rapport in the opening moments of a, of a new relationship. Mm -hmm. 
and and I'll be honest, you know, knowledge workers do have a hard time in this area. Right. And so it's that simple act of building rapport, of finding commonality and knowing the right tone of voice and the level of formality that says to somebody else, Mm -hmm. hey, I want to work with you simply because I feel connected to you. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part of the personal brand is, is having kind of an intuitive sense of how to do that. And, and so that's one of the things that I walk people through is helping them see beyond the character and the competence that this rapport building, the connection building is important. And just, for you people just mentioned really that, that that's, with, that's networking 101. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's networking 101. And, you know, I like to go back to Dale Carnegie for this sometimes too, mm-hmm. for people who really struggle, go, go read his book on how to win friends and influence people. And that's a, that's a good starting point for some people who are really new at this. Mm-hmm. But if you if you miss out on this one, your great idea may never see the light of day because people, as always, want to work with people that they know and like right. and trust. Right. Yeah, and and so it's not just how much you know, but how you're able to connect with people. So the likability is important. The, oh, the likability is is huge. Yeah, likability. And uh, that all comes through just our ability to, you know, network, yes, right. and, and just connect on a human level. Very good. Well, Jeff, that I happens mean, every day. Most of us don't see that. We don't even see that as a, as a process. No, that's right. And I think, uh, again, the, the people who are undervaluing it are the people who are, are really missing out on mm-hmm. the power uh, the power of that, because, you know, without it, you sometimes get, you get no chance to say what you want to say. And so all of your expertise just sits there <laughs> and your great <laughs> ideas never, never come out because they're not, you're not invited to, you know? Oh yeah. But it's what you said. You right, override so that, the what and why and the who never comes out. They don't remember the who. Exactly. Exactly. And then, Tom, the last area that I, I coach people on in this, uh, this personal branding exercise is about confidence. Mm. And, you know, technical people have gone through, and many of them have done masters in their area, uh, but they tend to stay away from the humanity type of, of programs right. and training. And so confidence comes through, just for example, present, uh, presenting your ideas in front of a group, right? So speaking right. publicly. Uh, if you're a technical expert, you've spent your your lifetime focusing on that level of expertise, you probably haven't spent a lot of time projecting your ideas in front of a group and and speaking that way. And so right. practicing practicing that confidence exercise of when people look at you, mm-hmm. they understand that not only do you have something to say, but you're really excited about it. You're, you're right. confident about the value that you had to bring to the organization. And, and I think one of the things that happens is they, they see themselves just as an expert contributor, not as a value contributor. Mm. And so th- it's almost like there's a, there has to be a transformation in self-perception right. that people have to go through to step out of the expert mindset into almost a salesperson role. You know, even mm-hmm. though you're not in sales, you're still in sales. You and, are. Uh, and that's one of the transformations I try to encourage all experts out there is to see themselves as mm-hmm. as nice, likable human beings who can connect, um, but also when they're talking about their ideas that they can do it in a way that's just as powerful as the best salesperson in the organization. Well, that's self, that's self-perception, a, that's a, but again, self-promotion. We need to be on that side. We have to turn on absolutely. our salesperson mechanism to really sell ourselves today that's right well jeff and i want to so, thank yeah, you for, so that's, for that's i want to i want to thank you for sharing your expertise with us today so how can our listeners find you yeah they can find me at my website it's jeffweinstein.com g-e-o-f-f weinstein.com very good and also on linkedin right also on linkedin as well yes very good well thanks again Okay, thank you very much, Tom. And to our listeners, it's Jeff Weinstein, G-E-O-F-F, the last name W-E-I-N-S-T-E-I-N. You'll find him at jeffweinstein.com and on LinkedIn. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. 
More information at focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Till the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. 